what's up guys welcome to fish and cheese man and today what i have for you guys is a quick tutorial on how to set up your bitrate on streamlabs obs and obs studio now i personally use streamlabs obs because i feel like it is the perfect playground for a streamer but everybody has their own opinion um the first thing you want to do guys is you're going to want to go to this website right here it is uh testmy.net and testmy.net is going to give you your upload and your download speed. Make sure you capture what your speeds are because we're gonna need those when it comes to your bit rate, okay? So, once you capture your uh, your upload and download speeds, go over to your settings icon, it's a little gear icon right here. Go over to output. Now here is where every, all the magic happens, right, for your bit rate. Now right here under streaming, you're gonna see a title that says video bit rate. This number is your video bit rate. Now, the reason why your bitrate is so important because that's the quality that your people are going to be able to see your stream in. And by that, I mean, you're, you're, you're going to be trying to reach people, hopefully reach people, as many people as you can on at all platforms, mobile, you know, computers, Xboxes, whatever. If a person is on a mobile data network, they're going to have a hard time watching your stream if your video bitrate is too high. So remember that. If you're trying to reach the most viewers you can, you're gonna to wanna to have it accessible to all platforms, all forms of, of data, okay? So, if your video bitrate, when you did the testmy, testmy.net um, speed test, if your upload speed was 10 or greater, then you're in good company. Um, that is a perfect way to start off your stream. Um, if your video bitrate was under 10, then you can also still stream, but there's going to be some tweaks you need to do, guys, and I'm going to go over those really quickly. So for everybody who was 10 or higher um, upload speed, start off inputting 2,500 for your video bitrate. Start there, click done at the bottom right here, and then test your stream. Play a game, see how it streams, da 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 You can actually... Um, you know, just play normal. Don't even worry about like pulling up on another thing. And then have your, your if you're on Mixer or Twitch, have your VODs set to save. So what you can do is you can actually go back and watch your VODs and see where you had issues with your clarity. And then you can say, okay, well, you know, it seemed like it was working fine. Or um, pull up a, another tab on your, your laptop or your phone or whatever, and then test it per mobile data and um, wireless or, or ethernet connected um, computers. So let's say that you start at 25 and it was fine. Everything was smooth. You can actually increase your bit rate by two to 300 each time to try and figure out if you can get better quality. Now, be careful with that because as the quality increases also does the bandwidth requirements for your viewers. So if your viewers are on a mobile data uh, network, they may have issues trying to connect to your, um, your, your broadcast. So if 25 works for you, then leave it at 2,500 and then just experiment as you add overlays and graphics and, and widgets and whatnot. Because as you add overlays, as you add widgets and graphics, you're going to need to change your bitrate, guys. That stuff does affect your bitrate because all of those graphics, all those animations have to be broadcast and uploaded through your connection, which is going to put more strain on your upload speed. So you may find that once you get your stream set up with your overlays and all that, that you need to bring your bitrate down some to keep it streamed um, smoothly. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, for the guys who are, or the guys and girls that are um, under 10 megabits per second for their upload rate, what you can do is start at a lower video bitrate. Start at 1500 bitrate. Now what this is gonna allow you to do is still provide some quality to your viewers and you're going to be able to fine tune your stream as well as the guys with the higher bit rates so that way you can try and get uh, a more stable connection a more stable video stream now 1500 is very low but it's a starting place if, if 1500 works for you then what you can do is you can actually increase it by two to three hundred as well and try to find a higher bit rate that's a sweet spot for your stream again guys once you get overlays graphics and animations and all that set up you're gonna wanna adjust your bit rate accordingly if your stream starts to lag or if you notice buffering issues. Another thing guys that you can do is right here under encoder, if you have a really strong PC, and I can't stress this enough guys, if you're going to get serious about streaming, invest in your hardware. 
you don't have to if you have a pc you don't necessarily have to go and buy a brand new rig for eighteen hundred dollars or anything like that but a graphics um a capture card is going to be the first thing besides a webcam that i would say you need to get make sure you have a capture card and a webcam webcam to me is number one because if you have an xbox you can plug the webcam in your xbox um stream off your xbox and hopefully your quality is pretty decent and you'll be able to actually interact with your people a webcam is number one guys capture card number two because the capture card is going to put less strain on your upload speed which is going to allow you to be able to increase your bit rate and get better quality streams to your people now your encoder is your software and hardware encoders your software encoder is what i use this is the best one to me um, if your GPU is super strong and you want to use your GPU to process everything and you don't play any games on your PC while you're streaming, then I would use the NVENC um, encoder, which is the NVIDIA encoder. If you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, then you can probably use the QSV if you want. I don't like QSV, but um, if you don't have a NVIDIA graphics card, then just stick with the software um, encoder. Now, now that you have all of that set up, the last thing guys that you're going to want to do as basic setup procedures for your stream and the quality of your output go to video now on your xbox your playstation your nintendo whatever you're gaming off of you're going to want to set your video resolution if your video bit rate is under 15 megabits per second i would suggest that you stream in 720p quality it is still a very good quality for streaming and there's there's nothing wrong with having 720p most people are not going to tell the difference between 720 and 1080p on your stream go to your xbox or your your game console video settings make sure you change your video resolution to 720p on the xbox itself the reason why is because when you stream off your xbox and you have your video resolution set to 1080p or 4k your upload speed is going to try and broadcast in those resolutions and what's going to happen is if you're on a platform that only has a 1080p resolution um broadcast level then it's going to downgrade your your uh, resolution when you downscale the resolution it puts more strain on your your upload speed and your bandwidth and it's going to just degrade your quality even more so set your base resolution right here on streamlabs obs as you can see it says base canvas resolution that is the resolution that is coming from your game console which is being streamed to your con uh, capture card and then to your pc so if your if your xbox is set to 1080p your base resolution will need to be 1080p but to keep things smooth if you're going to stream 1080p or 720 make sure your base on your console is set to that resolution you have your base set to that resolution on Streamlabs or OBS uh, Studio. And then your output scale, pay attention here guys, because this is really important. Your output scaled resolution has to be the exact same. Do not allow your OBS Studio or your, um, or your Streamlabs OBS to downscale your resolution because it's going to put a strain on your bandwidth. So if you're going to be watching the game on your monitor in 720, stream it in 720 if you are a pro member on the platform that i stream on which is mixer then when they come into your stream they're able to change the resolution from 720 to 480 or from 1080 to 720 and, and such and such to make their stream a little bit more accessible for them if they have an issues once you find out what you want to do hit save the next thing you want to do guys if you want to get a little bit more in detail with it there's a website called child bryant Child Bryant is a great place for, for information on how to set up your stream. If you go over to tools and then click live stream calculator, web page pops up, tons of, of information here. There's links like this one right here that would actually take you to a, another page that would help you set up your stream even more and get your video bit rate or your quality even higher. There's also another beginner guide, uh, beginner's guide right here. But this is where, you know, when you really get technical this is where you're going to want to go guys this is your calculator this calculator is going to allow you to be able to fine tune the quality of your stream you can set your resolution height and width you can set your frames per second your bpp um your bpp and all of these different things make sure you all know what all these terms mean before or have a gist of what the terms mean before you go in here and change any of these numbers and then once you're done you can hit cal calculate and it'll come up with your optimum streaming settings okay guys Real quick, if you need to um, know the uh, resolutions for streaming, 
just pause the video while you're setting up your stream and this is a quick um a quick chart matter of fact let me make it a little bit bigger for you guys this is a quick chart that you guys can actually use um to figure out what the resolution settings for 720 or 1080 or 4k whatever it is that you're trying to do all right again guys this was, this was a quick tutorial on how to set up your stream for Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studio video bit rates. Now, I'm going to say this again, and, and guys, heed my advice on this. Get a capture card and get a webcam. Okay? Those are the two things that is going to increase the quality of your stream and make your stream more engaging for your viewers. That is going to be the number one things that is going to help you get the best output and out by output i mean followers um subscribers hosts donations and anything you're trying to get building a community this is going to be the best way to get it if you guys have any questions comments or need any help whatsoever guys leave a comment down below also guys join my discord my discord i'm gonna leave a link in the description my discord guys i am very knowledgeable when it comes to webcams um capture cards pcs uh, desktops, laptops, game consoles, peripherals, like keyboards and mouse, whatever you need, guys. I'm your man. I'm your guy, baby. I can get it done for you, right? If you're trying to set up Streamlabs or OBS Studio, I can help you get your settings optimum. If you're trying to get overlays, widgets, whatever you need, I can help you out with that. Join my Discord. Make sure when you get in the Discord that you say something, that you say hi to everybody that's in there, man. And if you need help, comment down in the in the Discord and let me know guys i appreciate you rocking with me and i appreciate you i hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions comments or, or if you would do me a favor and like subscribe and share this video i'd appreciate it once again guys thank you for tuning in this is your boy true blue the goat baby y'all be easy